you guys, hope you're having a great day today. Today is Monday, happy Monday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going good. My morning is going very good today. So had a great weekend, great weekend. We had Jaden's um, birthday. So that was, that was more her and her friends. It wasn't really anything I had to do. I had to do a few things for prep, but it wasn't like a ton of work. I didn't have to host, I didn't have to do anything or none of that. So it was a relaxing weekend for me. So I, Saturday I was here. Um, I just had Jensen with me and we just relaxed in the pool. Like all, most, he stayed out for a little while in the pool. And then I just got to sit out there in quiet and silence and just got to chill. And it was so, so good. Like some people, you know, like, like to take a walk for to, you know, relax and chill. And some people like to, I don't know, whatever. Whatever you like to do, relax and chill, watch videos. Me, sitting in the sunshine that just makes me chill that just like breathes life into me it does it like energizes me i feel like i'm a solar panel and i just like get energized by that so i got to do that all afternoon and it was so so nice and so it was a great day saturday and then we had church sunday always good to go to your church if you're able to and just be with your body of believers and you know just that encouragement and that corporate place of worship it's just a good place to be and then we just relaxed yesterday and just had a good chill day so it was just it was a good it was a great day so today is going to be cleaning up getting things you know kind of all picked up from the weekend and just a normal clean up and clean up and clean clean up and clean normal pick up and clean so i'm going to do that today so we're going to get going today's not going to be the slow motion one because that was a little slow i was watching last week so i was like oh, i can't do that <laughs> so fast forward here it comes so i'm gonna put an earbud in list of some encouragement for the day you're feeling down you're feeling like overwhelmed by the you know things of this world just uh, put in some good worship music it's a good thing to to be encouraged and to get your mind off the the sad things if you listen not that there's anything wrong with worldly music there's no i'm gonna say worldly and I, I mean that nice praise and worship versus a worldly song is that can i say that good you listen to the the worldly music and you just it feeds into that like woe is me and negativity and just like justifying your anger justifying these things and get your focus off of that stuff it's like put on some praise and worship and get your mind focused on the creator get your mind focused on things greater than you keep that as your focus praise him for the wonderful things praise him for the great things worship him those are all good things to do it gets your mind off the the worldly things those are whatever care of this world or whatever but jesus is forever keeping that in you it keeps you in a positive frame a good state of mind so get that positive i have a playlist i share my it's like my real playlist i've been listening to it forever if you go to my main like i mean if you click on my little avatar i think somewhere down here i think over here where like my name is click on that it'll take you to like my channel page and it has like my playlist and all that stuff and info about my channel but on the playlist i have one called my favorites and so my favorites i share and that is my personal playlist and so i have it I listen to this every day, every day. And so it's got such a variety of songs on it. They're all Christian songs and the top ones, the ones I just added to it. And so just ones that I just listen to. I mostly listen to the top ones. We'll go through the, like the ones at the bottom. I'm like, wow, that was years ago that those songs, but every song like kind of went through like a season in my life and just, just like different times where I needed that encouragement. So there is like some things like Skillet and there's some more, um, I'm trying to think of the other band about a mile they're a little bit more not so much praise and worship but christian bands but those were times where like would be spent time with my kids they like listen to those songs and so those are on there too but it's just a variety of christian songs on there so just ones that i listen to ice machine every day keep it going keep that positiveness in your ears just to be reminded of god's goodness and all the good things that he has for you so let's get going with a motivation monday we got a little bit of cleaning up to do it's gonna be a great day so all right let's get going with a motivation monday I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide A lot of you see that and go, why 
are you washing dishes before you put them in the dishwasher? What I'm doing is those dishes in the dishwasher are already clean. So I'm just adding some to it. And then that way, when the girls, cause I'll have a list to do of chores and one of them will be putting dishes away. They're all in there. So I don't have to have them on my countertop as well. So the counters are clean. So that's what I'm doing here when I'm washing them. Just wash them, put them in there to get dry. Remember when you've got a lot going on and you're just like, what do I clean? Just kind of clean patterns and routines help. Patterns and routines help to get you through, like if you don't know what to do, like if you're overwhelmed and you look at your home and you go, what do I even do? What is even my next step? And so that's, I love having a cleaning chart. I love having a, like I kind of already know, so I don't really have to reference my cleaning chart as much, but, but writing out what it is you have to do for the day and then just completing it in a list form just helps so much. Otherwise, it's like, what do I do? What do I even do? And so for myself, I've been cleaning this house for a long time and I already know my pattern. I pretty much do it in the same order to get it done. And so just going through those motions and getting it done, then it's like the house is clean. I don't have to worry about it. And so um, could have just done nothing, but you still feel kind of yucky. I don't know if you're like me, but myself, when a house is clean, I just feel more on top of things. Like I feel, not that I have to feel in control, but I feel like, okay, I can do this, you know, and so when it's a mess, it's chaotic, I just feel like, blah, I just don't feel like doing anything, and just when it's all nice and clean, everything's in its place, it just makes you feel, it's probably like a psychological thing, right, like the world is a mess, and things are messy, and life can be messy, but if you can control some things, like the clean of your house, it makes you feel good, I don't know, <laughs> there's a little psychology 101 for you today, I don't know, so. I'm just glad to get things cleaned up and so it's just gonna make it a whole lot better day so on everything. Now this new scrub brush that I got from Aldi for the bathroom, I like this one way better. The bristles are just a little bit nicer and it's got that nice rubbery push down topper to let the soap out. So not bad, this is good. So now all the bathrooms have their own brush I just keep in the tub here. Now, I noticed yesterday I looked up and some of my fan blades were really, really disgusting. I would normally do this right in the beginning, but I'm gonna try to be very careful. The vacuums are still going and get as much dust as I can off because it's bad. I'm not gonna do a deep clean this month because I just don't feel like it. So I'm just gonna do this because I do notice this dust. Now I'm gonna start cleaning out my floors. The vacuums are done, they've picked everything up. I don't have to do that. You, could you sweep it? Yes, you could. I have a lot of hard floor that would require a lot of sweeping. Not a big deal, it definitely could do it, but I'm thankful for the vacuums to be able to do that work for me. So now I'm just gonna take my mop, go through and use vinegar. It's got a little essential oil in it and just mop the floor. That's pretty much what I use on my floors, is just vinegar. I don't even mix it with water. Some people do, I don't, I don't know. I just use vinegar, straight vinegar, wiping it. It's good to go. Sometimes I wet my mop 
and just wipe the floor. Sometimes I pour the vinegar directly on my mop. Sometimes I spray the vinegar on the floor. Whatever you want to do. This, it, it, there's no set way to, to clean your floor. Just enough to get it wet to kind of clean the grime off the floor. Now if the floors are all clean, I'm just taking the chairs and stools down and they're done. I normally only have to wash once a week unless I see like dirt on it. So we just do this once a week. I don't have little babies crawling on the floor. Maybe when little Samuel gets over here and starts crawling, I'll be a little different. <laughs> I'm sure I will be. But for now, it's good enough just the way it is. I sometimes will vacuum another maybe once or twice during the week, depending on how dirty the floor is. We might just use a stick vacuum. Just depends on what kind of foot traffic we have through the house. And another thing I never show is wiping the table off after I take my chairs off. People say that's so gross, but I really just wipe it off after and never show it. I've got another load of laundry thrown. We're doing good. So for my dryer, I'm learning that if I just, I was thinking maybe it was the dryer, but if I do a humongous load, I usually do it at night and then it can just run because it takes that good hour and a half to dry. But if I just do like a smaller, regular size people mode load, then I realize it just, it does dry like it's supposed to. It's just that I'm so used to overstuffing the dryer. All right, made it outside. All my inside work is completed, finished. I have my camera pointing down. But the girls and the boys will finish up the rest. I'm gonna do um, like things like my bedroom. I'm gonna help the boys in their room. Their room, they're, bless their hearts. <laughs> they're getting better. They are really getting better. And so Jensen, he's, it's just kids as they grow up, they do. You can't expect a younger kid to clean his room like a 15 year old would. They just don't. And so all of my kids have gone through the messy room phase, all of them, every single one. And they all learn to clean up and pick up and do what they're supposed to do. And so I saw it because I saw Autumn started cleaning. She was like collecting everything and have everything. And I see her. Kitty's like, I'm on here. Don't touch that. This got so bad. So she started cleaning her mess up downstairs and now she likes to organize it. And then Maddie is starting to organize hers a little bit to you know some extent. She'll still live a few things. Um, Jensen, same thing. He'll go in his room, his little corner looks nice and neat. Steven's like the last child and so his is just like a mess. So this weekend I just looked in there and I was like, there's so much. Cause he's got a lot he's playing with. It's all in his room. I don't care. So I just took it. I just shoved it all back under the bed and I just was like, another day, another day. So if I don't do it today, I don't care. It's okay. He can do it all himself. It's just, as a mom, it's a lot. Yeah, and I mean, he's not going to suffer or be a slob for the rest of his life. No, it's just that he will uh, clean it up. He does, and they do do good. When it's pretty cleaned up and there's only a little bit to clean up, they do really good cleaning up. It's just there's a lot in there. So we might attempt that room today. We will see how the day rolls and how I feel. You know, my boys just don't clean as good as girls do. They don't get in corners. They kind of leave things, and that's okay. And I don't want to say boys versus the girls because my girls did that too. It's just that I have older girls that help. The younger set's getting better about cleaning. It's just the boys just aren't there yet. So we might do that. But one thing I do have to do is clean my trash can. The inside of my trash can is wet and gross. Ugh. So yesterday I was like, ugh, it's got water. <laughs> like obviously it's trash liquid and they're probably watermelon or something. So I need to take my trash out and then I'm gonna hose it and clean it out. This is good to do and just let it dry if it dries because it's like, you know, raining outside and cloudy, but we'll see. So I'm gonna do that, just hose it off and get it cleaned out as best I can. All right, prepare to be grossed out. Oh yeah, real life gross, this is what happens. Ah, mushy wet bun. I don't even know how that's gonna work. I just have to let it kind of, if it gets dry, dry at the top and then I'll flip it over up here and set it like on a table. That's probably what I'll do and then it can dry. Let me move it up here. Things out crooked, all right. All right, are we gonna spend our day in the pool? Probably not because it looks like rain, but you know what? It could surprise us and be gorgeous. Look at Ruby. There's no way you're going in there. She don't even like baths. So I'm gonna put the vacuum in here, rinse out my filter so I can um, put some bleach in there and just put that bleach chlorine and let it run for a little bit. Stay. 
snakes haunt us, but do they really don't us? Your tongue can be sharp cut. Okay, so anybody else that has one of these in-text pools, is your filter green or is it brown? So we had this similar pool in Michigan a long time ago, and I remember this was always green with algae. Here it doesn't get green at all, but it's just always brown. So curious, I don't know. So I'm just gonna rinse it. I was gonna turn the filter on, but we haven't even gone in it. So what I'll do is just let the vacuum go, and then if we do go in it today, we can skim it out when we're in there, and then we'll, this will be ready so we can put some chlorine in it tonight and turn the filter on if we need it. So it's just, because I don't know if we'll even go in today or not. So I'm gonna go put this back here. Won't you come in? Pool feels great. It's starting to get where it's warmer. What's our temperature? It's just 76, but it actually feels a lot warmer here. So it just feels good. Like you could jump in and swim, but you know, I got things to do in the house. So now I'm going to go back in and see where we're at for kids and time and all that stuff. I might have started attempting the boys' room. <laughs> that would just be a whole just film it and music like this whole video is because there's a lot in there. But I might go do that now, and then that'll be done for the day. Because then most of all my work is finished. I'm trying to walk with the camera stand, so. But it'll be good. The main thing was getting that trash can, and you know the entire house clean. But good to go and laundry. That for, that load of towels I put in that was a lot, so I know that's going to take a long time. Let me rinse my feet off here. gonna leave the hose over there because I'm sure I'll use it for something but this is good for our work so now I'm gonna go back in ready for the day we do have some plans for later today so if I can get all my work done now I'll be able to enjoy the rest of the day it's kind of the plan if you got things to do get your work done so you can enjoy so that's what I'm focusing on today and choosing joy today no matter what's going on all right let me go in I've been putting a lot of their clothes up in these bins on top here and they're like the winter ones and they're just overflowing. So I just got a plastic bag, put them in there. Yes, I can suck the air, I'll make it super small, but I know in a few months we're gonna be touching this. So at least it's a lot better than clothes hanging out everywhere.
dropping everything cause you're stuck on my mind my mind so just sit with me talking to the night until the morning building can't mystery i don't think i ever want to go come closer next to me coming along here oh my goodness there's so much stuff i have a whole trash bag here <sighs> just long overdue so that's okay they're doing things they're running things for me they're doing that kind of stuff i'm just going through organizing to get all the yuck out <sighs> let's go now we're gonna go ahead under the bed area <laughs> All right, taking a quick break for lunch. The watermelon and then just a cucumber sandwich with butter and seed bread, a little salt, it's easy. Just got big spears, so I'm just gonna cut this way. Easy lunch. So it's the afternoon now. It is about one o'clock now. It's been a busy day getting work done. I feel like, all right, this bugs at me. I feel like we got a lot done. The girls and the boys, are, everybody's up doing chores, helping getting things aligned at home. So we had lunch that was good. Everybody just kind of grabbed whatever. We still have nachos from Jaden's birthday, so there's still a lot of that. I had cucumber sandwich because so, so good cucumber ever just with butter and salt on top. Oh, so good. One of my favorites. I know a lot of you guys say you put it with cream cheese and stuff. I just like it. Butter, cucumbers, and salt on bread. Oh, just toasted bread, by the way, though. <laughs> so good. So, and watermelon. That was my lunch today. It's going to be an easy day. So now what we're going to do, you guys don't know this, and I haven't showed you yet, but we have a grandma came for a visit. And so my mom came down for a visit this week. So we have her here so the kids are enjoying spending time with her and it is actually her birthday today so my goal is finish up get work done so we can take grandma out for her birthday <laughs> so you didn't see any of that that's why i'm kind of rushing you along and i'm going to be done because i'm like you know what we're going to finish so that we can go enjoy and go spend time with my mom and just uh chill and have some some good memories well maybe we'll film her this week we'll see we'll see what we end up doing or even what we do i don't even know but she is here that's what we're gonna do so i'm gonna go i'm gonna go so i can go enjoy some time with my family so let's read our psalm for the day psalm 146 the lord an abundant helper praise the lord hallelujah praise the lord O my soul while i live i will praise the lord i will sing praises to my god as long as i live do not trust in princes in mortal man in whom there is no salvation or help when his spirit leaves him he returns to the earth in that very day his thought and plans perish how blessed and graciously favored is he whose help is the god of jacob whose hope is the is in the lord his god who made heaven and earth the sea and all that is in them who keeps truth and is faithful forever, who executes justice for the oppressed, who gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets free the prisoners. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous, the upright in heart. The Lord protects the strangers. He supports the fatherless and the widow, but he makes crooked the way of the wicked. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, to all generations, praise the Lord. What great words of encouragement of our abundant helper. We have an abundant helper that will help us in our lives no matter what's going on around us. So, all right, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Just clean in with the motivational music. Not a whole lot of talking, but just busy and it's just good to do today. So I'm gonna see you guys again tomorrow with another video. We're doing Jane's birthday is tomorrow. You're gonna to see Jane's birthday for tomorrow. So we'll see you. All right, bye.